Gold Music presents Abby Thomas live. That was Maybe It Does, Abby Thomas, live on 91.1 The Globe. My name is Tyson. We're live in the studio with Abby Thomas Band. It's Abby Thomas. we got Simon Kaufman Hurst and Caitlin Faust. Guys, welcome to The Globe. Thank you so much for coming here today. Yeah, thank you for having us. Uh, this is, of course, uh, we should say right off the bat, half of 
Abby Thomas yeah, band. Yeah, this is mo- most of us. So uh, uh, I am a I'm technically a solo artist, but I've collected um, some backing band members, and so I got a, I got two out of the four uh, here today. So yeah, we'll talk about some of those guys in just a little bit. This show uh, or this uh, event right now we're doing is ahead of your show tomorrow uh, yeah. on Saturday. You guys are playing at Ignition Music Garage Saturday, November fourth at seven thirty p.m. Doors at seven. You can get your tickets at ignitionmusic.net. Well, let's get right into it. Uh, yeah. That was a great song. Thank you guys for opening with that. I want to talk, uh, Abby, about your background. You're not traditionally trained as a musician. And before you were doing this, you were a photographer, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you transition into music? Um, So I always played as a kid. So there was a piano in the house or a guitar in the house all the time. Um, My sisters took piano lessons or violin lessons. Um, My mom was a singer. Um, My dad played guitar. So I was around it. Um, And my dad's a minister. So I was singing in church too. Um, but I, I play by ear. So my first piano teacher when I was five quit um, <laughs> after about a month and said, wait till she's older, because I would basically just watch what he would play and then I'd play mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. as opposed to learning how to like actually read music. Yeah. So um, but I never took lessons again. When I got older, I was in the high school choir and I, I wrote music and, and played kind of just quietly for myself. Um, but when it came to anything in public, uh, I did not. Uh, go that route at all so then what made you start to pursue a career in music what was the thing that made you go oh "Oh, maybe I want to do this for a living well honestly I was at a photography conference and I think it was 2014 or 15 and um for that when I went to that conference for work I was there to work I was there to teach class and uh you know when you go to conferences and stuff like at night people just kind of hang out and it happened Mm -hmm. to be in Nashville um, and somebody that was in um, a circle of people and turned out to be a really good friend and we're, we're best friends now mm-hmm. still. His name's Brent. Um, he, someone handed me a guitar and I, I played an Amos Lee cover mm. and he took a video of it without telling me <laughs> and sent it to his brother who was a booking agent. And yeah, those, wow. those two guys kind of, it took them years, but it, they finally got <laughs> me to go to an open mic, so, which was here in Goshen. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Once you started prioritizing music and kind of switched to that different creative medium, Were you able to find inspiration in this new medium right away? How was the creative process different for you from guitar versus photography or music? Um, Honestly, I I pull inspiration from from real life experiences. Mm. Music for me has always been therapy. Um, I've gone through some really bad breakups. I've moved a lot. I've lost friends. I've lost family members. And so whenever life gets really hard, I usually end up at a piano. Mm. And that's kind of how I talk through um, what's happening and how I make sense of everything. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, as I prog- progress through my music career, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm finding that it, it translates better for a live show yeah. if I'm up front and not behind a piano. So I'm, I'm pa- passing a lot of my workload off to Simon and thank goodness I found him because he plays two instruments too. And yeah. so whatever instrument I'm playing, he'll play the opposite. Um, so I'm, I'm slowly starting to get away from sitting behind my instrument and actually telling the story in front of the audience. So, yeah. Yeah. You've talked about feeling nervous on stage and how you've overcome that. When you were just getting on stage in the early days, what did that feel like? It was awful. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I, my knees would shake. I would sweat to death. I'd have to take a shower every time I went to uh, an open mic because I just smelled so bad when I was done. But honestly, it just all came from from a feel or a a fear of failure Mm -hmm. um, that I had to work through. And, and that, that all changed during COVID times for me. So once that happened, once COVID came, I had a baby and life changed big time. It, it, can you say more about that? It just yeah. became like less, less important or like yeah. there was less pressure on you? Honestly, like I, I had basically run my life living for other people yeah. oh, okay. and, and betting on the safe bet and not on myself on what I really, really wanted to do. Um, and the day that my daughter was born, there's this fear of failure was just like gone. And I didn't care what anyone thought anymore. And a year later, I put an album out and now we're, we're doing cool stuff. It's happening fast, but it's cool. Well, yeah. let's keep the cool stuff rolling. You yeah. guys have another song that you're going to play. Uh, the second song is Again. Uh, what, can you say a little bit about, about what this song is? Yeah. So this is one of those songs that kind of relates to, you know, I write about things in real life. Um, so my mom has Alzheimer's disease. Mm. And uh, it was about a, about two or three years into knowing, you know, there's something going on. Um, I was I was driving my car actually to go try out for America's Got Talent down in Kentucky. I didn't make it. Um, and I was I was driving down the highway and I was thinking about my dad and, and my mom and oh my gosh I might end up having this disease someday too. 
and just the the weight that that puts on a family and and on a marriage because my dad's taking care of my mom and so I wrote this song it's kind of like the romantic version of um, when a spouse forgets things so it's like if this is my version of the notebook the movie <laughs> yeah great well again Abby Thomas live on the globe Get the little things the way you walk and take your tea, but I'm not a lost cause yet. And growing no cut up to us, the time for by sometimes we're rough. And I've got a little time left. And I close my eyes and Lost a memory, and it may not ever come back to me. But now we can fall in love again, just like when you first had my head. I might forget the. But now we can fall in love again. I know you've had it tough. I'm not the same as when we fell in love, but good songs get played on. And though I lost my memories, falling twice could only bring butterflies and heads over feet. And I closed my eyes and lost a memory, but the views we shared are new, are new to me. But now we can fall in love again Just like when you first had my head I might forget the in-between
Again, Abby Thomas, live on the globe. We're live in the studio with the Abby Thomas Band. Uh, they'll be playing at Ignition Music Garage tomorrow, Saturday, November 4th at 7.30. The doors open at 7 p.m. It's a filmed live concert with special guest B, the band, another group that you might know from Globe Music Stuff. You can get your tickets at ignitionmusic.net. That is excellent, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your music with us yeah, today. Thank you. Um, we have to talk about the Josie Awards now. Yeah. Uh, they're known as the, the Grammy Awards for Independent Artists. Uh, Abby Thomas received four nominations for Song of the Year, Entertainer of the Year, Artist of the Year, and Songwriter Achievement. You ended up taking home the award for Artist of the Year. C- congratulations. Thank you. What What did that mean to you? Oh, my. I'm still trying to figure it out, honestly. <laughs> um, I was not expecting it. Caitlin got to go down with me with a few of our other friends. And um, our plan was just to sit in the audience and enjoy the night and get to be in the Opry because I've never been in that building mm-hmm. before. And I think we were all pretty shocked when they said my name because we joke around that I'm always like the bridesmaid, never the bride when it comes to music. I get included in like talent competitions, but I never win. And, and so we're, we're a little floored about it, the whole thing. You mentioned America's Got Talent. We'd maybe be remiss if we didn't mention the fact that you did make it uh, to the second round of auditions on The Voice. Kind of. Which is, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. that's still an impressive, uh, I definitely know I couldn't do that. So it's still yeah. some kudos there. But yes. Uh, artist of the year, an absolutely incredible achievement. But let's talk about some of these people behind her. You mentioned yeah. Caitlin. We have Simon here playing keys. Nate Butler sits in and plays drums. Isaac Fisher plays bass. Uh, what can you say about this group of people? Oh, my gosh. Um, that I am very lucky that they uh, give their time and their talents to this crazy dream of mine. Um, so most of them are from Goshen. We make fun of Caitlin because she's the only one that's from out of town. <laughs> um, she's from South Bend. Um, but Caitlin and I met through an open mic. I, I heard about Simon because of an open mic, and he brought in Isaac. Um, I never would have met Isaac if it wasn't for Simon. And I, I met Nate basically through open mics as well. So um, they've all become really, really good friends. And But my favorite part um, about this group is that we all have the common goal of serving the music. There's like there's no egos in the room. Like if someone does something silly, we'll be like, hey, you got to you got to stop that. It doesn't sound right from the <laughs> song. And then everyone's OK with it. And we move on. And but we all do that for each other and all keep each other in check. And we're all getting better because of each other. So that's my my favorite part about them. Well, let's talk about the next time we're going to get to see them perform yeah. Saturday night. Ignition Music Garage. Um, you guys are planning on filming this for a live EP. There's also a project with WVPE. Um, there's probably some people listening out there who have yet to get their tickets. Uh, so what can people expect from Abby Thomas Band tomorrow night? Uh, like right now we're playing kind of like some mellow stuff, mm-hmm. but it's going to be a party. Um, I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, it's going to be all original music, some music that's already been released and that's on iTunes and all that mm-hmm. good stuff. Um, but we're going to be playing some new stuff that we're going to put on um, a fully produced album probably for later next year. Mm. Um, but it, be ready to dance, be ready to cry. It's going to be a good time. I think we're just all feeling like it's time for a celebration after the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, yeah it'll We've be fun. We've also heard that you'll be debuting a new band name there. Yeah. It's going to be Abby Thomas and the Somethings. And the Somethings. We tried, yeah. we tried <laughs> to get Abby to tell us on air, but she wouldn't. We, we do know is that there's apparently some... Uh, maybe hints towards it on her social media pages, so you can check those out and see if you can figure it out. Yeah. Uh, but a new band name will be debuted tomorrow night as well. You're also yeah. playing alongside Be The Band. Like we said, it's at 7.30, doors at 7, ignitionmusic.net for more ticket information. Yeah. All right, well, we got one more song from you guys. Let's close it out. Not Gonna Lie is the song. Uh, what can you say about this song? Yeah, this one, um, we actually intended to write together this winter, uh, Simon and I, mm-hmm. and uh, he had just gotten married, and I had an idea, and I just I wrote a song that was kind of about him. So sorry, I left you out of it. But what I what I found from it was that I wasn't able to sing it the way that I wanted to unless I gave it to him to play. And and so he took the chords and just kind of gave it a new beat. And it's it's an awesome song. Um, and the band is really excited to play it live. It's probably one of the favorite ones we've been doing lately. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, not going to lie, Abby Thomas on the Globe. Somebody's harder than doing time I imagine Cause in solitude You'll be answer to you No, I'm not gonna lie Oh, sharing space And your mind The lines get blurred sometimes Between giving in and compromise Oh, everyone will give you advice Oh, but 
Not gonna lie, Abby Thomas on the Globe. You guys, thank you so much for coming in today. That yeah. was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for having us. Uh, Abby Thomas Band, a filmed live album concert at Ignition Music Garage with special guest Be the Band tomorrow, Saturday, November fourth at seven thirty. Doors open at seven p.m. You can get your tickets at ignitionmusic.net. And we heard it here first. It's gonna be a party. You can also stream Abby Thomas on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your music, guys. Once again, thank you guys so much. We're going to kick things back to the culturally progressive music. Coming up at the top of the hour, 4 o'clock, Cormac's got you for the afternoon drive. You're listening to 91.1 The Globe, culturally progressive music.